This is an oropharyngeal airway, also known as an OPA. We use an OPA for all unconscious, unresponsive patients. When measuring an OPA, we're going to go from the corner of the jaw to the corner of their mouth, using the curved part of the OPA. If you do not have the correct size OPA, you're going to use a larger one rather than a smaller one, as a smaller one may become an obstruction. Open that airway as wide as you can, open the mouth, and place the tip of the OPA in the back of the throat. Turn it slightly as it slides into place. The OPA is keeping the airway open and depressing the tongue so it does not become an obstruction. If the patient vomits or seizures, we're going to remove the OPA right away. 